Hello viewers, it's me Benoon and today uh, uh, we're going to drive from Alkmaar to uh, Haarlem in a, another uh, uh, kind of double decker train and this time we're doing the DDAR and this is the actual DDAR uh, I made a mistake in the previous video uh, that, I w that I was saying DDAR, but I was actually driving a DDM. But this one is a DDAR because apparently some of you said, said in the comments this one has a uh, destination sign, destination board on the train itself, and the DDM doesn't have it. So uh, that's uh, the difference. Everything else is the same. So basically we still have this train at the back. We still have the same kind of carriages. Maybe interior differences. Let me see. See, this is Alkmaar. Let's see, interior differences. I don't believe so. I don't believe so. But let's uh, get cracking, shall we? Um, let's put on the headlights. Let's put on the instrument lights. Uh, let's put on the A to B. Let's put the train into forward. And let's uh, set our cruise speed. There we go, now it's 140. And let's let the passengers board. Of obviously already set our course, you saw that. And this is going to be our trajectory for today. Again, uh, this map we have done before, but we have not done this trajectory, this line over here. So, uh, hopefully you enjoy the new scenery. Yeah that you will uh, see in a second. Let's depart. So, let's just not go too quickly out of the station, let's just... safely and speed up in a couple of seconds Speed up to 130. Uh, here we are. We have. Oh, yeah, by the way, we have five carriages, including the train at the back. There we go. Let's increase our speed. I'm trying not to always put on 100% throttle from now on because I believe that's, I think that's also not really uh, done a lot in real life unless the train driver needs to be, uh, unless the train driver uh, is delayed and they need to catch, catch up with the time schedule. But I think the throttle is almost never put on 100% in real life as well. So that would be a little bit uncomfortable for the passengers.
come at our next station, which is Hilo. This is a stop train, by the way. Forgot to mention that this is not an intercity. We're not going to skip any station. This is based on an old surface. Trying to go to 60, trying to go to 40, we can stop at the sign 6, this is now un uneven, oh, we went a little bit past the sign, we should have stopped that, but that doesn't really matter. Some train drivers also awesome. make mistakes in your life. That's a long firm uh, that will make a train. So the firms were made in 1997, if I'm correct. And they didn't call them firms back then, they were DDIRM. And uh, these ones were built in 1970 or 1980 something, I, I don't know anymore. They, they, those are obviously older. This one we are driving is obviously older. But they were in service for quite a long time. But now you see them sitting in the rail, rail yards, uh, mostly. If you go to Amsterdam Central Station and you come from like uh, Utrecht or like Amsterdam Arena, to say the uh, Balmer Arena, and you drive uh, to the uh, central station after Meidenport, then you will uh, then you will see a small rail yard, and you will see this train standing there as well, or the DDM. Such a shame, though. These were nice trains, but yeah, these trains are old and janky, so you had to get rid of them eventually. And DNS is looking for a new uh, double decker. I was also looking, uh, I also saw on the internet. But I'm speaking about, uh, I'm, I'm speaking about that they wanted to, like, their plan is to replace the DDZ train, which, is, we, which we have also driven. The DDZ train is basically a modernized version of this train. And, uh, they want to get rid of those trains as well, and they are looking for a new uh, double-decker train. I'm really curious what the, which one is going to be, but I think we don't know until like 2025 or something, something like that, and the uh, new double-decker trains would be in service in 2028 or something, so it's still a long way from now. We first have the IC new generation coming up as a first new uh, train in the NS train fleet. We also uh, 
talking about new trains, uh, Arifa also uh, got a new train, which I hopefully will see eventually popping up in uh, train uh, simulator with the Arifa livery, and that is the GT uh, Wink or W I N K, and uh, from Statler. It's not really different from the Flirt. It's only diesel and it looks a little bit different and there's a nice new Arriva livery on it and it drives between Leeuwarden and Groningen which is also still a trajectory that needs to be made on the uh, North Oost Nederland uh, map uh, which I will still have to show, show to you guys because that map is amazing but like the average journey on that map is like at least an hour so it takes it's it's yeah but l look forward to that to seeing that in the future because i'm eager to make a video on that map it's just going to be it's just going to be a very long journey and, and it's going to be a straight line for a long time but it's going to be full with scenery all the way through though so it's not going to be boring at all I should break right now. So yeah, um, a lot to look forward to, and I really also like the sight of just map makers of Training Simulator, just continuing making Dutch maps, and also new one, new ones. So. It won't be always this very limited selection of this ma these maps that currently exist. There are also people working on new maps, which I'm really eager to see. And uh, in the future we can go to Eindhoven and stuff. It's going to be pretty amazing, to be honest. So, the, the TS community, the Dutch TS community is still very active. That is really cool. Ignore that I'm not stopping at the right side, please. It's not the day for perfect driving because this train's brakes is not really allowing me to be Mr. Perfect. Well, I could have driven it better, obviously, but hey, I don't want to stress today. I don't want to be like, oh, I need to do it perfectly or otherwise. That's not what I'm aiming for today. Sometimes I do tend to do that, and then I enable uh, that man switch, and then I try to stop at every good carriage sign uh, perfectly and at uh, the designated carriage sign. But today it's not that day. This is also uh, a part of the trajectory we've driven in one of the very first videos, the ICM video. The long one from uh, Schagen to Amsterdam. But in a minute, we're not going to drive on this trajectory, we're going to branch off in another direction. After this, we're going to Beverwijk, which is a, a, a branch of, uh, to the south instead of more to the east. Because if we're heading more towards the east, we're going to Zaandam. And if we're going through Zaandam, eventually we get in Amsterdam, but we're not going to Amsterdam today. That is the emergency brake. Sorry for putting the brake on 100%, but... Like I said, I'm not driving perfect today, so... And I don't want to, I don't want to miss any station. So if I deem it's necessary for me to put it on one hundred percent, then I will do that. You know, uh, I I've just started playing this game from March. I spent loads of money on it. Just don't comment too much on my <laughs> train driving skills and knowledge, please. <laughs> I'll try to improve over the years if this uh, channel will succeed uh, and uh, continue to grow. But 
for now it's a little bit limited when it comes to knowledge and uh, chain driving skills. And I'll also try and drive in other countries with, uh, with uh, other trains of those countries in the future, but for now we're just mainly focusing on the Netherlands and no, uh, not too challenging trains. I have to, yeah, 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 I know, I need to break. Yeah. Damn. In a minute we have to change to 40 kilometers an hour. was warning me f for that anyway. It's blinking green. Let's see if the ATP changes after passing the signal. No, it doesn't. I'm not going to stop at this station. It's one of the very few. The stop train is sort of, is sort of, uh, it's not a sprinter. It's, it's, but it's also not an intercity. It's a little bit weird. Definitely went too quick through that. This A to B uh, is not really uh, telling me the right instructions. Now we're doing it at the appropriate speed. This is where we go to a new area. SDM Another station we're not stopping at. Hmm. Oh, 
really entirely to a roller sitting again in the video for the cutting. Almost at bay like. Welcome to Bay for like I'm getting messages on this card, don't worry. And uh, hopefully it's not too scary.
This is the tunnel under uh, Eimuiden. Which is a uh, small fishy town near Amsterdam. Fishy town, what am I saying? But <laughs> you get what I mean. Okay, this is an error in the map. Please ignore this. Not my fault. There we go. This map is old and it's not really updated, so sorry for that. I have to have this break on the hand tram. Uh, well, mm, don't think. Yeah, well, I think it is that actually. It doesn't matter, we're almost at our uh, final destination anyway. Oh, 
Welcome to Harlem. As you can see, if I do no, if I do zero throttle, then it breaks automatically. That's because of the handbrake, but I'm, I don't know how to disable it. It's probably in the manual, but I'm not going to open that at the moment because we're almost there. Except when the bloody thing starts to get me. Break is a little bit annoying. We get to enjoy this view more. See it that way. We can enjoy the scenery a little bit more. That over there is the Vivian. On the left. This one isn't, because this one has a sick design. Destination. Uh, come on, we can try f f 40 on you. Crying out loud. This is a nice station. Last at the end, so we're Here we are! Harlem! I see him parking next to us. Very nice. Good timing. There we go, that was everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like the video, please give a like, even though they're disabled. I can still see them. Uh, if you have any feedback or improvements I can make in the video, please let me know in the comments. And if you love this video, please consider subscribing because it helps me out and it helps grow the channel. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.